hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is jenny and you are in turkey headquarter yes welcome back to my channel so today's video is about queen naomi and her family like another buzz buzz is going on because of some 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 things that her family said during her birthday and also because of this dress this beautiful dress she's wearing like guys check out this dress this dress is so beautiful like the, the the day i saw it on her on her birthday i was like wow that this her you know designer is doing good but right now people that went to her birthday party and people that zoomed and zoom and zoom and zoom her picture is saying that she's not supposed to dress like this that the the dress is so revealing that the the dress is for wayward people it's for people that know no no christ people like me now we know savvy christ anyway don't mind me so according to them they said she is showing her front side that she's revealing her private stuff that she is not supposed to be that one because she's a queen even if she's she says she's no longer a queen but still for now she is still um she's she's still um being referred as um the queen of Ileife that she's not supposed to dress like this that um she is one they said she is a mother and secondly she's a queen and thirdly that she is a woman of god a prophetess for that matter see for me personally i believe that one born again is in the heart and secondly you will be addressed the way you dress yes that's my own belief when i first saw this glow i never I never noticed any revealing stuff but now that I've, they have zoomed it i don't know whether um it's because of the zoom that is showing like this but honestly if this clothes pinomi wear wore on her birthday this particular one this cloth is beautiful honestly let's not just exaggerate about it this this dress she's wearing right here is beautiful it makes her it it pump her color out but you see that front side they would have brought it up a little to close her her children food you, you understand what i mean because if you see right here on this picture is this this is a no-no for me see i love kenomi so much and i'm not going to lie to you guys if this cloth i'm seeing when she stands you will not notice this but when you zoom it closer you will notice what i'm saying by my left if this cloth is like this when um you get close to her no 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 the designer would have put something a little or brought it up i know the beauty of this clothes is when it's tight on her you know children foot side when it's tight over there um that's the beauty of this clue but at least because her being a queen and a prophetess um she would have brought it up a little i'm not blaming queen naomi maybe maybe this this dress is also those kind of dress that when you do small thing the thing will draw down you understand there is some clothes you wear um maybe you arrange it very well and nothing is revealing but immediately you do any little thing the thing will come down you understand you keep drawing it up i think maybe that's the kind of this dress she's wearing i'm not sure i'm just you know trying to explain so that people will not judge her or blame her do you understand it might be possible that when she wore it, it's not coming down like this. So maybe it's those kind of clothes. If she just do any small movement or bend down or do this, the thing will come down. So then there is this write up that a Yoruba, a, a Relu something, Yalaja something, wrote a very long one. is mixed with Yoruba and English. I cannot, I cannot explain that. Um, read it right now. But what I I know that the the person said that that you know that she was disappointed about Queen Naomi dressing, and she, you know, she said a lot of things that um that I don't like. I don't find it pleasant because that is not good. In fact, the person even went to the extent of warning queen naomi not to talk about women again that she is not qualified to give women advice just like she did during that um women's day i was like who are you to judge her who are you to tell her not even pastors who commit sin and they will still 
mount the pulpit and preach the gospel, God will not strike them. God will not judge them. They know that they have sinned, but man, nobody is perfect. So um, if somebody thinks that Naomi is the worst person because she left her marriage or because she said no, no, are you in her shoe? Do you know what she's going through? Just maybe because you have one um, authority or maybe um, you, ha- you, you are holding a position in Yoruba land, maybe you think that you know a lot. No, you don't know anything. Me, myself, I don't know anything. Anything concerning husband and wife, you will not know the details. You only, the person you heard from will only tell you the person, the one that will favor he or um, him or her. You understand? So it's not all about when you hear one side of his truth, you start judging that person. No, I don't do things like that. Even when I hear from the both side, I have to stand on the mid. I have to, I have to stand at the middle. You don't have to judge Queen Naomi based on maybe what you heard from the palace. Maybe you did not even heard from the king because I believe that the king will not have such time to sit down and start narrating about his marriage with Queen Naomi with, with people. Even if you had any position in the palace, no. A real man will not do like that. And I believe that only of if he will never do like that, sit down and be telling you Naomi is this, no. And Queen Naomi too will not sit down and start telling strangers that the husband is this, the husband is that. The only thing I felt that, the only mistake me personally, I felt that people, a lot of Yorubas are angry about is because of the write-up she made on social media. She, she poured out her mind, but there are some things she wouldn't have said in those write-ups she wrote. But I won't even blame her. Talk more of judging her because you don't know the kind of you don't know the state of mind she was when she was typing those stuffs. You don't know what is going through her mind. You don't know um, how her mental health is, you know, all over the place. That moment she was writing all those things. She wouldn't have used some words she used on those write-up. Yes, we know. Nobody is perfect. Even only of if is not perfect. Queen Naomi is not perfect. You that is judging them, you are not perfect. Me, myself, I'm not perfect. So why would you be judging only her? Is it because she's a woman? Were well, you in her shoe? Do you know what she's going through? You know, to the extent of you come out, you said, and the person that wrote this thing is a mother. You come out to say that she's not worthy to talk about women. You that is judging her, are you worthy to judge Queen Naomi? Even you, you that is judging your fellow human, you are not even worthy to judge anybody. Because if God starts judging us according to, you know, the things we are doing, nobody can even be alive. Everybody will just lie low. So for you to be... Sh- sh- um, telling any everybody she don't, she's not worthy, even to the extent of the, she's from poor family, the, the, she's 419 and all of that. Is it because um, you guys know that Queen Naomi is not from a rich family? Had it been Queen Naomi was from a rich family, many many people that is saying all these things, wouldn't, they won't even come out to say Pyom just because he feels that maybe her father is not known in the society or her mother is not known in the society. That was why, because she married the king, some people are, some people are even judging her based on personal hatred they have for her just because she married to the king. It's not as if you've had any encounter with her. Like, if you see the way I'm sound, sounding right now, you see that... I'm sad, like the way people judge other people. Somebody you've not even met before. You join other people to, you know, to judge, to judge her just because of what you heard. That is wrong. When Queen Zinab left the palace, go to her social media. She, if, if she has taken it down, go to Google and search. You will see all the things she wrote. Because maybe she's from a wealthy family. That was why she was not tackled. Yes, even though she's not even from Yoruba kingdom, she's not even from Yoruba tribe. Maybe just because she's from a very wealthy family, that's why um, some people did not tackle her. Is it because Queen Naomi is a, a woman of God, a prophetess, and maybe you feel that she's nobody because she's not from a very big family? Whatever she, she does, you guys who said um, she's she's social media queen. No, nah. It's not good like that. Even when um, 
even when Oluri Ashley was posting stuff online, I saw a lot of people writing how many pieces of comments just because you know her father. The person was saying, eh, her father is nobody. She's social media queen. She's doing this because you know her father is nobody. Had it been her father is a governor or her father is a president or some, some, someone prominent in the society, you guys would be worshipping her. That is, that is bad. That is why things will never change in nigeria especially because people worship the rich and look down on the poor people which is not supposed to be like that even you going into a shop to buy something because you dress casual i've gotten experience when i was in nigeria i went into a shop to buy something they thought that maybe i cannot afford that because i was dressing so simple when i entered there but i bought something much more than what they expected so you don't look down on people just because you see them and maybe they don't watch what because you, call it, you, you feel that maybe they are poor. Just like people are talking down on Queen Naomi because you know how she started. Had it been her father is um, Buari, eh? you might even judge her but you will not... You will not put her down the way people are calling her. She's, she's nobody. She came to steal money. She, you know, she took the king's money and now she's doing big girl on instagram like i know what is peppering a lot of people let me say it pump and plain what is peppering people is that they feel that um queen naomi when they see her every day she will come out and be crying or looking tattered or looking sad but she she they were those people were shocked like they see queen naomi and you know um, she's not crying. She's not looking sad. You know, a lot of people believe that when a woman walk out from a marriage, that she will become a sadist. She will be crying every day. Being, um, you know, wherever you see her, she will be crying and looking sad. But no, we know me stand strong. Even with everything going on on social media, she's she's still living her happy life. I know that is what is preparing people. Momo, you want her to be crying every day. You want her to come, set camera, come out on social media and be saying, my, uh, my marriage, and be crying. And be crying and said she's, she's going crazy. That's what people want, right? No. God got her forever. Just like Princess Adiola said after wishing her birthday, she said, God got you forever. You get it? If you don't get it, forget about it. God, God can know me forever. See, if God will be judging people or be treating people based on what another human are saying, means that nobody will be alive today. A lot of people will see you, you didn't do anything to them. They just want your downfall. They just, they don't, they just, as in, they don't want you to be happy. They want to be seeing you sad. Man, you are not God. You, that cannot happen. Queen Naomi will remain happy forever. Even if she says she don't want to marry Oni again, she, her life will still be beautiful. Even if um, Oni of Ife um, said she, um, he will not marry Queen Naomi again, Oni of Ife's life will still be beautiful. Life will still go on. So stop tearing your pants. Stop stressing yourself. Um, you know, um, some people are in the group of Oni of Ife. Why some people are in the group of Queen Nomi? No, it's not supposed to be like that. It's not. Let's learn how to stand. If something is wrong, you say that this is wrong. If something is right, you say this is right. Then when there is a kind of, if it's complicated, make sure you are at the middle. Don't be siding somebody and because of the jealousy or hatred you have for that person, you'll be saying trash about that person. Please, the, the woman that wrote that thing on Facebook said a whole lot of things that, you know, that is not good to say. And this person that wrote this thing, you're a woman, you're a mother. Like, I, I believe that woman um, her, will be a grandmother too. Even if um, the thing Queen Naomi wrote on social media, have you just calmed down? Like... If you want to understand what she wrote, sit down calmly with your make your mind free. Don't have any hate at heart. When your mind is free, we read what Queen Naomi wrote on her social media about her 
um, separating from the king, he will understand very well. But when you read it in a haste, or when you read it because you hate her, or when you read it because um, you have um, you have packed some dark space for her in your heart, you will not understand what she said. I know some things she said there, she's not supposed to say it, even if maybe what she's saying is the truth. You get it? Maybe the tune, you understand it. But it is her truth. She said it. You know, being an adult is not um, when you say, oh, I am 100 years old. That's when people start respecting you. At least elders should start respecting the younger ones. This woman that wrote this thing is an elder. And they said he, she's the Erelu Udua or something like that. If you are a truly a mother, you not even come out on social media. If somebody that has that position, you not even come out on social media to wrote those things about Queen Naomi. As a mother, that woman should have called Naomi on phone. Okay, let's say you called her, she did not um, answer you. Why not type those things and send to her? Because this woman is not a blogger, right? You are not. You are. You had a position in Ileife. You are the Erelu or something of Odua. Why not, as a mother, you call Queen Naomi and said, Oh, my daughter, this thing you wore, I don't like it. In case of next time, is revealing. Next time, tell them to, you know, package it very well, that side. You know, you are a queen and you are a prophetess. Even if it's none of your business, but if you want to make it your business to tell her, it's not on social media. We, we are just YouTubers. We are analyzing stuff, Right is well understood but somebody that has that kind of position you should have given her that advice in private if the king was wearing bone shorts if the king wears something bad wouldn't they just go and tell the king oh kbs CEO, kbs please oh don't be angry this thing you are wearing i just want to tell you that is no good though in case of next time but if it's a woman mm -mm, everybody will start judging her no I know what she wore. As I look at the picture right now, I know that what she wore is not really good. It's revealing, especially the front. You understand? Maybe she did not even notice it. Or maybe it's those kind of clothes that when you pull it, it will go down. But that should not warrant anybody to write long piece of something. All just about Queen Naomi, about her family, this, about this, that, about this, that. No, now. Make could, me could take them easy for Queen Naomi Mata. She's a human being, Kwano. She's not perfect. Like, nobody is even perfect. You that is judging her, you're not even perfect. She's not perfect. She's just trying to be happy. You don't know what, she, what goes on on her mind. What she, whether she, if she goes to sleep, she cry of what she, she went through. You don't know. When somebody told you, um, say something. You are not in that person's shoe. You will not understand because you are not that person. And people, people, people um, perceive something, perceive things differently. That something somebody will tell you, you will not take it as anything. But the, the same person will tell it an, to another person and the person will, will cry over that stuff. So that is life. Stop judging so that you will not be judged. You can correct. Had it been that woman, you know, write something in love and all the thing she wrote was... No, please, my Yoruba sisters, my Nigerian people, please, let's stop judging Queen Naomi. I know that a lot of people love her, but you see what these people, I know it's not everybody that will love her, but there are some things that you will, you will, some people will write, when you see it and said you jump and pass, you cannot. I've seen a lot of things that, that people have wrote about Queen Naomi. It's not everything I brought up here. I've seen a lot of things that people wrote about um, um, Olori Ashley, the old knee of Ife. It's not all of them that brought it, but there are some they will say, and I can't, I can't stand it. Anyway, this video is taking long. I will do, I will do the part two of this video of the clip I was telling you guys about. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. I never expected this video to be this long, but you know, I was just vibrating and talking. I was just pouring out the way I feel about this whole thing. I'm sorry if my voice was loud, but you know, one thing you guys need to know about me is if if I don't talk faster when I want to stammer, um, I don't want to stammer 
and talk so that's why i i try to talk fast 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 so that i will not stammer you know i have little piece of stammering inside me <laughs> thank you so much and i'll see you guys on my next video and i love you guys so much remember to always love each other love one another as christ loved the church <laughs>